Good morning guys, Wes Davies here. Welcome back to another episode of my new video series, Taiwan in Motion. I'm super excited about today's video. I feel like I've been living in Kaohsiung for long enough now that I've actually been around, I've seen a lot of the cool spots. So today's video is going to be dedicated to showing you my top five favorite hidden secret spots in the entire city. Let's do it. All right, welcome to my number five best hidden secrets of Kaohsiung. I feel like I got lucky with this one. Right behind me is the Minzu Road Fruit and Vegetable Wholesale Market. Here's the market. And that is my apartment building. I come here all the time. Basically, if the fruit or vegetable is in season, you're gonna find it right here. Let's go inside and check it out. So this thing, I swear, is the size of two football fields. It is absolutely humongous. And the first half here is devoted all to fruit, and then the second half is all vegetables. So one of my favorite parts about this market is how chaotic it gets. It's pretty early, about 8.30 in the morning, and this place is absolutely hopping. As you can see, people don't mind you driving your scooters or even your cars or trucks straight through the middle of the market. Hello. 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 Oh, she's here. So there's the tour, and actually while I was going through, she gave me a bag of free pickles. Can't wait to try these out. People are just so friendly here, it's awesome. So just on the other side of the street from the market is a meat and fish market. Like all manner of fish. Duck. Duck. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Eel? Chaotic. Very good. Very good. Cool. You can go someday. Shishin. Nice. Shishin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, that does it for me here at the Minzu Road Fruit and Vegetable Market. I will put the link below of how to get here. It is just awesome. It's just, even if you're not buying anything, there's so much to see, although you should buy something. I bought a couple things, I got some chopsticks. That was a super successful little trip across the street. And I'm gonna try some of these free pickles that she gave me. Mmm, wow. That is very, very vinegary and salty. Oh my gosh. That would be really good on a hamburger. And I also got some chopsticks. I'm gonna head back upstairs, grab my gear, and we'll go on to the next spot. So I have made it to my number four hidden secret of Kaohsiung. And this little neighborhood has about three or four really beautiful, really amazing temples. And this one in particular is my favorite because the top floor here is just this amazingly intricate, uh, beautiful shrine. And then downstairs, there's kind of like a morning market, tons of food and lots of good stuff to buy. So I'm getting pretty hungry for breakfast. Let's go downstairs and check it out. Yeah, I'll 
Sí, señor. Ah, So I'm all finished at that amazing local traditional market. It was just awesome. Everyone was super, super friendly. I couldn't get over it. Uh, I went to go buy like one steamed bun and she basically filled up my entire bag for the equivalent of about 80 cents. It was just crazy. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. A lot of good stuff here. You know what, I think it actually pays to wear a nice shirt. Everyone was just super friendly. It was awesome. Honestly, it feels like wherever I go these days, there's a giant procession heading toward the temple. Really cool. All right, this is really what I'm looking forward to. Giant meatball. Oh yeah. Mm. There's so much ginger in there, pork, green onions, soy sauce. It's a little bit spicy with some peppers. That is awesome. So this is the one I initially got for breakfast. It's got chicken, a fish, some pork, I believe this is a taro, and not quite sure what the orange one is. All right, I'm gonna start out by trying the fish. Whoa. Oh, now I know what she was saying. She said dan danda, which means egg. I was like, what do you mean egg? Maybe it's coated in egg? No. This thing is chock full of eggs. It actually tastes like caviar. That's really nice. All right guys, so we have made it to my number three top hidden secrets of Kaohsiung. This is one of my favorite places in the entire city. It's called the Sen Fen Zhong Dry Goods Market, right here in Kaohsiung. There's so much to see, and you're gonna find here all kinds of things that you haven't even heard of. It's super, super cool. And the best part about this is it's underneath this giant canopy, so it's in the shade, which is great, because right now it's about 33 degrees Celsius and it is getting hot. This place is super beautiful. It's so quiet and peaceful, and you just turn the corner, there's a gorgeous little temple, an old man painting Chinese characters. Ah, I just love it here. Hey friend, how are you doing? These things are the best. All right, so I got my treats. 
I think it's time to hit the road and go home for a moment. I've got some fresh meat in my baking hot scooter that I probably shouldn't leave there all day. I just love this place. Everywhere you look is something new, something different. I really recommend you come out here. So that concludes my number three best hidden secrets of Kaohsiung. All right, so I was just on my way out of the market and I saw this guy and I said, hey, why not? It looks basically like an alien. Check that out. Like, if that doesn't look like an alien, I don't know what does. So I think that's a little baby dried octopus. I think I could just bite it. Oh. I don't think that's how you're supposed to do it. Tastes like a shoe. Probably supposed to put it in soup or something. Yeah, can't, <laughs> can't eat that. So I just ran into a really nice man and he told me that it's for the barbecue. So I guess that makes sense. If you grill it on a really hot charcoal barbecue, it's probably gonna taste pretty good. Right now it just kind of tastes like, yeah, as I said, shoe leather. All right, so I have arrived at my number two recommended secret spot in Kaohsiung. And this is the Labor Park Plant Market. And as I'm saying that, I realize I probably should have titled this video top five markets in all of Kaohsiung. However, number one will not be a market, but I really wanted to take you here to the plant market because it is super, super cool. Tons of amazing plants, flowers, and it's all really cheap. So as you can see, there's an absolute myriad of different kinds of plants and flowers and herbs and even fish. It's just such a great place to come on a Saturday afternoon. You got your families out, kids running around playing with cactuses, old people having a blast. It really is one of my favorite places in the city. Very peaceful, very family friendly. Today, I actually have a specific goal, a reason I came here which is to pick up a snake plant. Now traditionally, I'm not the best at taking care of plants. The only plant I've had for longer than six months is my snake plant, and apparently they're actually really good for the air in your apartment. So I'm gonna go try to find one of those, and hopefully I can get it on my scooter. Yeah, not good. Oh, okay. Jackpot. Here's my snake plants. There we go. Got my scooter relatively loaded up. A couple different orchids and my very special snake plant, which is going to purify the air in my apartment. Hope I make it home safely. So that concludes my tour of the Kaohsiung flower and plant market. I really hope you guys enjoyed that one. I absolutely love it here. I think I got some really beautiful plants and flowers. I'm just going to hop back on my bike Make sure these guys get home safely, and then we will head to my number one most recommended secret hidden spot in Kaohsiung. Oh, made it. Woo. Yeah, I think I got everything home in one piece. Everyone looks happy and healthy, and welcome to your new home, guys. Sweet. All right, there we go. What do you guys think about that? Little new setup. I think it looks pretty good. All right guys, thanks so much for sticking with me today. It's been a blast. I'm about ready to head to my number one most recommended secret hidden spot in all of Kaohsiung. Wow, it actually seems really magical in here. 
Oh yeah, here we go. It has been a very long day, but we have made it just in time. Wow. All right guys, we made it to Secret Beach. I think you can tell why I love this place so much. Whoa, pretty big adventure getting down here and everything we did today, so much fun. Thanks so much for joining me. I think you know what it's time for. The sun is finally setting behind me. Such a beautiful day, such a beautiful spot to enjoy the sunset. Man, I'm so happy to be here right now. I'm just gonna chill out here, put the camera down, and enjoy myself. I brought a couple beers with me. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. Please subscribe to my channel. More videos to come, and I will see you next time. Cheers.